I was going to talk about. I know there was more than just that. There really was. Wild hell. Well, there's my, uh, my I, I was looking into my speedo healer thing and I have noticed that I, I was under the impression it was only going to change or it was going to actually correct the speedometer and the odometer and make them both right. And what it does is it intercepts the signal that feeds both before it gets split and changes both by the exact same figure. Well, that means that anytime you use it to set your uh, speedometer correctly, your odometer is going to be wrong. And that's the main reason why I've got it. I'm not really interested in how fast I'm going. Uh, I ride by feel more than anything. But uh, my odometer, you know, that's pretty damn important to me. So uh, now it's, it's reading... Uh, a good bit lower than it's supposed to and I'm, I'm letting it do it for a little while to make up for the mileage that was put on because of the it, because of it reading high when I changed the gears um, so here in like a week or two I've got to disconnect that thing and calculate the error between my GPS and my odometer and set it for the same factor because what it does is it takes the signal that you get from the bike before it gets to the gauges and it changes it by a percentage uh, your speedometer is not off by five miles an hour it's off by x percent now if it's reading 60 or if it's reading 55 and you're only doing 50 then it's five percent high or ten percent high rather and you know then when you're doing six when you when you says 65 you'll only or, or 66 you'll only be doing 60. Uh, so it says, so you say, okay, it's off by like, I think mine was 15.7%. So you set that. Well, that reduces your odometer reading by 15.7% too. But my speedometer was originally high and the odometer was right. And then I changed the gearing. So it moved both of them off by the same percentage. And I corrected the speedometer which threw the odometer down too low, so now it's reading low. So I've got to fix that. That's not a big deal. It takes like, it'll probably take me 15, 20 minutes tops from the time I go to disconnect it till I uh, have it reconnected, ready to go. It's just a pain in the ass. Um, that's, you know, that's just kind of life. And again, something, oh yeah, uh, I've got a couple of comments and a couple of questions about vlogging. And I'm, I'm sure most of the vloggers have gotten this, but I haven't seen it posted on anybody's videos. I know somebody posted a comment about it on, on one of my videos, and I've gotten at least one email about it. But people want to know how it is that I can sit here and talk to myself and make it coherent while I'm riding and focusing on the road and, and you know, which way is this guy going to turn? If he's going to turn, what, what are the kids up to? You know, you got to know what's going on. Um, and the, the short answer is if you concentrate on what you're doing uh, for a lot of people, if the only thing I concentrate on is writing, I'm going to make a mistake because you can think things too much. You, you can overthink things. You effectively make them more complicated than they should be. See, I know there's no cars coming, so I don't have to worry about oncoming traffic. Uh, all I gotta do is see, make sure nobody comes out of the uh, turn here. I can also see all the way up this section of the road, so I know I don't have to worry about potholes, because I don't see any. Occasionally they hide, but generally, if you've got good eyes, you'll see a pothole from eighth mile, quarter mile away. I don't need to worry about how fast I'm going, because I don't care. Uh, Gears and things like that 
come naturally. Um, sometimes I will make sure I'm in last gear, but for the most part, it, you know, fuck it. You, you just know, okay? I am doing, what, 52. I've been doing about this speed. Uh, the speed limit out here is like 50 or 55, uh, maybe 45, I don't know. Either way, I'm not breaking the law. Not buying enough to get a ticket anyway. And, uh, ah, uh, coughing up some nastiness. Uh, so I'm not completely concentrating on the road. I mean, I am keeping an eye on the, you know, the, the, I can't even think of the word, the intersections and the driveways and, and shit. But for the most part, I know what's going on and I can keep track of it. Now, you will hear me every now and then. I mean, hell, I'm for fucking forgetting topics left and right. You will hear people do that. You will hear, I'm pretty sure all the vloggers do it. They'll stammer for a second or they'll just stop talking or they'll sound confused. Um, every now and then I will change subjects for a second, like interject something to say, you know, maybe I saw Steel Horse Club do this and that's how I know that he was paying too much attention to his vlog and not enough to his ride. Well, if something comes up while I'm on that train of thought, you know, talking about Steel Horse Club, then, you know, something like something happens in the road. Uh, chances are I will forget what I was talking. Like, I'll forget why I brought up Steel Horse Club in the first place, even though it was like 20 seconds ago. Uh, a lot of the vloggers do it. A lot of people don't necessarily notice or you think that it's because we're scatterbrained and to an extent I, I'm really scatterbrained really uh, <laughs> hello ADD but uh yeah and that pause is because that dog was there you know that's that's what I'm talking about it's like uh because I'm watching the fucking dog make sure he's not gonna jump out in front of me and turn himself into kibble um, it's really not a big feat the problem is that you have to get used to it I, I can't name names because I don't remember who it was, but I distinctly remember watching one of the vloggers almost hit somebody or blow a turn or he, he ran wide or something happened. And it was directly because he was talking to the camera and he was still kind of new at writing. And it's like, dude, don't worry about what you're saying. Worry about what's going on around you. The videos will come later. Um, and if nothing else, that shows how much concentration is really needed, especially by the new guys, uh, just to ride, you know? Fuck the camera. Just riding requires a lot of work. But you start learning what you can tune out, when you need to pay attention to what. Um, right now, I really don't have to pay a whole lot of attention to the traffic up in front of me because it doesn't matter. I just need to pay attention to what's going on behind me and make sure that when it's my turn, I have them clear. It's, it's just like, you know, what can you edit out of your concentration because it doesn't matter? And the, the key to being able to do that is to know when suddenly it does matter. It's, that's the hard part. And that's what a lot of guys will miss. And it ties into what something was being said about on the forums. There was a topic about whether or not it's safe to ride with music. And at least two or three people have said, oh no, it's never safe. You have to concentrate 100% on the road. Uh, no. First off, just because you have music playing, it's like your car stereo. It's the exact same. Anyone who rides and listens to an iPod, and by the way, mine is right there. It's not on because I am would really lose my train of thought if it was. Uh, anyway, well, I try not to die by 18 wheeler, even though I saw his turn signal go off. Um, I have completely forgot what I was saying, and that is exactly my point. <laughs> It's just one of those things you pick up, okay? Eventually you will figure it out and you will know that when shit like that happens, you shut the fuck up, you deal with what's going on, and then you start talking again, and maybe you'll remember what the hell you were talking about. Doubtful, but possible.